The high-level meeting was aimed at soliciting inputs and finding best practices to provide urban and peri-urban dwellers with adequate nutritious food. This is to address the plight of the residents and ensure that they do not resort to dump site scavenging through the establishment of food growing projects that are sustainable in the long run. The United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization has reassured its commitment in assisting these authorities to set up such projects. The FAO is also in a position to work with, with the mayors almost immediately now to start working on a case study uh, on uh, food system meeting urban uh, food needs in Vindok. The declaration calls for a concerted effort of all stakeholders to dialogue, establish partnerships, capacity building and the establishment of food banks in Namibia as well as promoting urban agriculture. But according to experts with the capitalism system ever experiencing challenges, such form of social care is the only way to go. The capitalism which is in crisis, the capitalism which showed the world a lifestyle which is no longer sustainable. And I think what we are trying to do here is to try to implement a new concept of development which puts the human being at the first place. Deputy Prime Minister Marco Hausegu praised the initiators of the workshop and emphasized the need to care for the needy. We should accept that as a human right that we are doing to these people, as a obligation of every human being to take care of those around you who are weak. The delegates then signed the declaration and promised to implement it in their towns and villages.